hi guys welcome to this new video on angular 16 i'm gonna be talking about how we can localize data in angular 16 project localization means that we are going to support different languages like english french urdu hindi arabic in our project we might have a lot of constant data on the header footer about us page contact us page that if user wants to see that data in different languages then we should give us support in our web app okay so this is an empty project that i have just created this is the new angular 16 project 11 dot localize and first of all what i need to do is i'm gonna go over here i'm going to remove everything from html i don't need that and uh, in order to support Port localization in angular project i need to do few configuration in angular project so first of all i will be writing let's go inside that project folder and i will be writing ng add and i'm going to write angular slash localize okay i will hit enter and it's going to install the required packages in order to support localization so it's showing me that this is the version of localization will be installed so i will write y and hit enter and once it will do like this you will see that it will be installed over here and uh, you can see this angular localization package have been installed these files have been updated as well so that the localization supported so the type is added using the angular localization uh, the configuration is automatically added so the ng add command is pretty good it automatically configures stuff for us uh, so here it has been added and uh, in angular json file first of all what i need to do is i'm gonna go in the source folder inside the assets folder i'm gonna create another folder and it will be i18n make sure you give it a same name and inside it i'm going to give en.json file name and then I'm going to give fr.json. En stands for English, fr stands for French. You can search on Google what are the different languages code out there in the world. So currently I will be showing you by converting the string into different uh, languages uh, with only one key since it is a JSON file. So I'm going to add this greetings key and it has this hello world and uh, we have this French make sure you have the same uh, key value over here and the values can be different and uh, the quick way to do it you build up the constant JSON file over here and you can provide this constant JSON file of English to any AI tool like ChatGPT and ask it to convert this the values of each keys into French into Arabic into Urdu and uh, those tools uh, pretty much help you okay so here the key name is same that we will be using to bind the data in the ui in our app component and the value is different okay so let's close that after this i'm going to open up the angular.json file and in this file i'm going to add uh, this is our project name and inside it i actually need to add that i18n colon and then the object okay and uh, inside it i actually need to add the source locale and the locales okay so i'm just going to add it over here make sure you pause the video and add it just like i have done you don't do any spelling mistake over here source locale equals to en locales and then as much json file you if you are supporting five languages you need to add the five values over here with respect and give the direct path of that file okay let's save it after this for the configuration i'm going to open up the app module.json file and for this i'm going to need few packages so i'm going to come in the terminal let me clear that up and uh, i'm going to install those packages so first one is ngx translate core so i'm going to write npm install which is the ngx hyphen translate slash core okay and after this i need the ngx translate http loader so i'm going to write npm install and this package make sure you install these packages okay once these gets installed 
I actually need to import it over here. Uh, this one is the translate loader, translate module, translate HTTP loader. And this was by default given in Angular. Okay. So we actually need to add it in the imports array now. So first of all, I will be adding the HTTP client module. After this, I need to add the translate module, which I have just installed and it is provided with the for root inside this object. I'm given with the loader. Okay. And inside the loader, I have this provide key and I can provide the translate loader after that. Okay. So after this, I have this use factory key and HTTP. I actually need to give it a function. Okay. Um, I'm not going to write a function directly over here. Instead, I'm going to add that function above over here, HTTP loader factory, which I can copy and paste it over here. Make sure you add it just like this and it require an HTTP and the path of all the JSON files, which I have added. I'm supporting JSON way of uh, translating different strings. That's why I've added this configuration over here. And after this, uh, I need to add the depths over here, HTTP client like this. Okay. So that's pretty much it we need to do for the configuration of supporting the internationalization in angular 16 now let's try to see if it works or not and uh, i'm gonna go over here and first of all through the interpolation i need to write the key name just like i've added in this file which is the greeting okay so add it over here and after this using this pipe I need to give it the translate keyword. Okay. So then I'm going to go and open up this app.component.ts and inside it, I only need to import that translate service and for its configuration, I've already added it in that uh, module file. So translate service from ngx translate hyphen core. Okay. So constructor, let's add the translate service and then the translate service. All right. So after this, I actually need to detect the language default set in my browser, which I'm using to open my web app. I can change the default language and I will show you by changing the, my language into French and English both ways. Okay. And see that if the correct value is shown, hello world, if I set the English, this value should be shown if I set the browser value to uh, French. Okay. So after this, within this constructor, I'm going to write const user lang equals to, and this is the built in API, which is called the browser API provided by JavaScript navigator, and then the language. If it is not available by any chance, if browser does not support any language, default value is EN that will support the English language. Okay. And then I can actually write the language code equals to user lang split. So what I'm doing here is that whenever we fetch the language using the navigator, it does not give us this code only. It gives us EN en hyphen us uh, en hyphen canada or something like that so i need only this code uh, that's why i'm splitting this out by hyphen and fetching the first value of it after this we only need to write the couple of lines so trans this dot translate service and i need to set the set default lang with the language code which i have just fetched and after this i need to use that so translate service dot use language code. All right. So now uh, it should print hello world by default. So let's try to run our project and see if it's working fine or not. Okay. So it's currently building my project and uh, I think it has built it. Let's go to the browser. And currently you can see that it has printed hello world, which is being fetched from this greetings key. And this is the value of it. Now I'm going to go into the settings of my browser and change the default language to French. I'm going to open up the settings. 
so at the top if i search languages it will show me the preferred languages tab and here you can see that i can add any new language if i want to currently this language is used when translating pages i'm going to uh, move the french to the top so when i will move it it will become the default language of my browser now let's refresh this page and now you can see it is automatically detecting the default language of my browser and automatically fetching the data of this fr.json file for this key all right in the our component we can also show a drop down in our web app on the footer on the header nav bar and using that drop down we can support 5 6 8 10 languages whenever anybody select any language we can pass the selected value to this over here fetch the value update a variable over here and pass that update variable value uh, in this translate service to set the default lang and use that as default code uh, even if that uh, is not the default language of your browser okay so this is how we can configure set up and test different kinds of localization internationalization and create the different json files to support different languages to show it on our web page if you have learned something new from this video do subscribe my channel like this video and comment below if you have any question see you in the next videos